Hello everyone, I'm Tyrell Chambers. Thanks for tuning in to the Chambers channel. If you don't mind delicately tapping that like button, smashing the subscribe button, and tapping notifications so you can get some more of this content. So yes, my name is Tyrell. I grew up in the Bronx. I currently work in Harlem. Um, and being from the Bronx and working in Harlem is, is very easy. Um, I'm able to meet a lot of different people from each area. Um, the Bronx is uh, it's a very what I want to say it's a it's an interesting place to be around. Um, and then the perspective of, uh, of of Manhattan and working in in Manhattan um, gives me a different different viewpoint on um, on how people deal with their their finances day to day too. So while I'm in the Bronx, um, a lot of people ask me about um, in investing, and it's it, it's shocking to me that most people from the Bronx aren't investing. And when I go to Harlem, where I work, um, it's it, it's shocking to me how many people are investing. You know, from when I'm in the Bronx. Uh, people are just going about their day-to-day -day lives, um, not really thinking about long-term. Most people are just living short-term in the Bronx. Um, while I'm in Harlem, you got a lot of uh, people who are busy, active, and um, are very um, tuned in with their finances. So in the Bronx, I'll get people asking me about investing, but not really taking the initiative to invest. But in, in, in Harlem, people are actually in asking me about investing but wanting to know exactly what it is that they need to do to um, to get their finances um, in order. I think the best thing about what I'm doing is, is because I'm doing this for my community. I, when I'm walking around the Bronx, I oftentimes see a lot of street vendors, um, people who are selling metro carts in the subway system, um, people who are um, essentially uh, not really taking their finances seriously. Um, so I think that me being able to enlighten people or just, uh, informing people on their finances in the Bronx just makes me very valuable um, because I'll give them a good insight on how they should, um, how they should uh, invest their money. The first time I got interested in investment was in high school. Um, I went to a finance high school. It was a Murray Bertram High School for Business Careers. I was fortunate enough to go to a finance high school and he had first mentioned stocks to me and I was like, I had no idea what was like what stocks were. But as soon as he mentioned stocks, I started to like do a little bit more research on it. And then that's when, that's when I started really getting into investing because what he told me is that what you want to do is you want to invest into companies rather than buy the product of the company. So that's really, that stuck with me um, to this day. So that's why I started to get into investing. And uh, to this day now, I'm, I'm, I'm informing and educating people on why they should invest. I have a, a perspective on, on, on finance and stocks. I feel, I feel more empowered um, because it allows me to to delve more deeper. Um, it allows me to 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 learn more about finances, and it also allows me to in, in invest more because I want to know um, exactly what it is that I need to do to empower my own finances. And if I can do that myself and do a very good job at it, then I'll be able to be in a good position to help other people do the same. Most people ask me about. Well, when I'm walking around the streets um, in the Bronx or Harlem or wherever I'm at, most people ask me about how to start a business or how can they um, get started in investing. Most people want to have a good financial situation. Most people want to be financially free. Um, most people that, that come up to me are always asking me, how can I have financial stability? And me being involved in, in finance and um, investing on my own, I oftentimes have to tell them that the first thing to do is, you know, read. If you like something, 
you're more prone to learn more about it. So what I educate people on is that if you like something, look more deeper into it and then see if there's a way that you can invest into, in, into it. The urban community, well, you know, the minority community, they, they aren't really investing that much. And it frustrates me a little bit because it's, I feel like that, that is the reason why I'm here to, to, um, to educate because I want to see my community do well in terms of investing and I want to see them invest more, but I don't see that a lot. I see them just being regular consumers and a lot of the people who are investing are kind of like um, piggybacking off of their, their consumption. So um, most of the people in my community that are investing are um, the working class people, um, people who are knowledgeable about stocks, knowledgeable about um, index funds, things like that, you know. I'm very interested in cryptocurrency. I I think cryptocurrency is the the uh, the money of the future. Um, cryptocurrency is actually finance of the future. I'm really interested in cryptocurrency because it gives us um, it it allows everyone to be their own bank. You know, it takes away the, the middleman. If you really wanna um, and like um, pretty much. If, you, if you're looking to expand your financial um, situation, cryptocurrency is going to be the way to do it because right now it's in its, its early phase and eventually it'll be like investing in Forex where most people are um, investing in, in currency pairs. I think cryptocurrency will be exactly like that where different cryptocurrency is compared to different cryptocurrency and you'll be able to um, you'll be able to essentially trade in and out and create your own financial future. The first thing I would say to someone who has not ever um, started out investing, um, whether it be in stocks or cryptocurrency, is to um, watch videos like this, but also uh, pick up uh, uh, a few cryptocurrency blockchain technology books and read up read up on uh, the different types of investments uh, read up on the different types of currencies um, but also to download um, um, investment applications user invest uh, user friendly investment applications like Robinhood or coinbase um, because those th those applications um, will essentially teach you how to invest in, in, a, in a more simplistic way. So in this channel, uh, you would expect to see uh, a broad array of financial literacy. Um, we're, gonna be, we're not gonna be focused on any particular financial sector. We're gonna cover a broad, a, a broad, um, broad array of financial um, analysis, news. We're gonna cover uh, current events, past events, future events and um, just keep, in, keep tuned. So definitely I wanna, I wanna appeal to um, those who are in need of financial advice, those who, who just wanna get some financial, some, some financial news, people who wanna be financially savvy in, in certain areas, and also people who would like to get a different perspective um, besides looking on uh, those those different uh, consumer news and business channels that may be giving them terms that they may not necessarily know. Um, people who are coming to them in a more layman's terms, uh, in a sense. So on this channel, my target audience is for anyone who is looking to gain any financial knowledge in general. I'm also inspired by my community and I would like to bring in my community plus everyone else um, who are looking to gain some sort of financial knowledge or, or perspective um, in this channel. My target audience is for anyone who is looking to gain any financial options 
available to them as well as my own community which I believe will benefit the most. But I also would like to have everyone who on this channel to be financially savvy in some way, shape or form. On this channel, I like to appear to my community and give them some financial knowledge and what investments that they will need to make in the future. I've been inspired to teach financial literacy by looking at my community. I also feel like it's necessary for me to bring financial awareness to everyone else.